Okay. So you just prepare. Alright. And Okay, I just need to secure my bit because I've got to line up. Open like hell, that's straight. Stay right in there. Okay.
All right. Now, if you can get in on a close, everything looks good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here we go. Eight colors. What happened? Here we go. Put your finger in there again so I can find the uh, awesome. Okay, now you want to, all right, you got it? Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Oh, I gotta cool it off. Okay, here we go. Here goes the spire. About more in the same area right where you just went. Oh, that's great. Yeah.
That makes sense. Okay. Testing one, two. Can you hear me real good? Okay. You know, Condradon is a place that's within all of us. I build a city to be totally in control of the environment but yet be in a hostile environment. See, in some of the scenes you see in Condradon, some of the imagery that you see, is that the outside surface would be damaging to the humanoid that's inside. Because everybody in Condradon is us. We're the ones that are in Condradon. And to see an inhabitant take a mountain and turn it into a city somewhere in outer space or in an imaginary space. This is an opportunity to relive the present somewhere else. I look at Condradon as a, a land of freedom. Because, number one, the way it's built takes care of the whole environmental processes that we go through. Otherwise, uh, it's more like a society that takes care of itself, spends time doing it, and spends the rest of their time in development to raise the uh, intelligence and consciousness of their race. I find it difficult to do here on Earth, what I can do in Condradon. What kind of people? Well, the people, you and I. Is, there, is the Condradon some place you can escape to? Yes, uh, you can escape to Condradon. It's more like going inside yourself and ask questions about how it would be like to live there. What would be different in Condradon to here? Um, it's more of a mind expansion consciousness expansion vacation without a travel agent and as you look at the cities uh, I think people get drawn into them just as much or more than I do uh, I look at them in a different perspective uh, I look at them as a, a cross between an architect a creator um, so many different uh, things have to go into process just to make it up and the people are just like you and I they go out and work every day and wonder where's it all going what's it all for when uh, all it is is to pay bills on the week and I, I happen to look at life different I happen to think that there are uh, our potential as a civilization is incredible And when I can share an experience of actually seeing a civilization that's functional and seeing a civilization work for its own, on its own, just like the order of the universe, everything works on its own, we're the only ones that don't work in, or, in, in harmony with the order of the universe. But there again, it's just, you know, I guess the only thing God's got to do is seek itself. And through us, that creative process happens. It's a lot of fun creating these. Because what I experience and what I go through is uh, very challenging to my life. But it's my job now to challenge other people's creativity. Because, you know, every modern course you see or go to or for positive thinking or a new matrix or new way of thinking, so many people in there trying to find their creativity. 
And just to think for an hour of what it would be like living somewhere else on this planet is definitely uh, one of the most powerful sparking tools to uh, to find a new avenue of thinking. Hell, who knows? We could have uh, life on Earth work in harmony with everything else. And I hope to see that in my lifetime. I'm bringing life to this farm because this is a solar farm. And in a solar farm, they use... I forgot what I said. Is that the farm? Oh, yeah. This is a solar farm. And the solar farm's purpose is to utilize what energy is available for all of its purposes. See, the people in Condradon do not have nuclear power. If you can't stand in front of it with a little bit of suntan oil on it, they don't want it. So the purpose of this is to aerate their water, grow vegetation, and actually manufacture power from the sun in these windows. It's a technology I think will work, but it just started out as play. Is this some place you believe in? Yeah, I believe in, I believe in Condradon. But what I believe in Condradon is actually the potential of humans since we are an extended species throughout the galaxy kind of makes sense that uh, we should work in harmony and everybody that looks in Condradon has one thing going on in harmony at one time their own creativity is playing and having fun what happens in your mind when you look into these cities is your fun it brings you right in touch with yourself and you know if we lived on earth as creatively and as fun as we lived in Condradon this would be such a nicer place to be. So everything here works. All these big windows. This lets sun in to light the cities. And then I'll make it doors. And I have stairs that all travel up and down. So you can go to every door. It's totally functional. All of these areas are windows so that you can see out. And look out across the... Or look back at yourself. <laughs> you see yourself looking in. Yeah. So everything here is functional. Everything here works. It has to. Because it has a life of, to sustain, even if it is just an image. Or a thought. But that's all basically we are. this door and walk all the way down to this door you know spontaneity is what this city is all about when you can just look and see all kinds of stuff everywhere It's incredible. I now want to design the interiors to these places. So, you want me to cut over here now? Sure. Anywhere you want. I got the stuff I need to Oh, you do? I just Great. Some stuff. You know, Condradon is. Can I just keep talking? Sure. sure. Right. Condradon means a lot more to me than just an image. Because uh, one of the neat parts about it is that this is a new art form that has survived enough to a point to be put into the ranks with the masters. And that's an honor to have something you play with in your life actually support you in life. And that's that moment when an artist realizes that something very creative is being said through him and expressed through him. And to be successful in that is the highest point in an individual artist's life. But to know that you're in the same circle with creation itself.
that's when life starts to take on meaning. And I think all life needs to have more meaning. You know, art is the way I look at art itself, is the physical form of the creative expression of mankind from a state of nothingness. You know, a lot of people ask me, do you draw pictures first and then cut them in acrylic? And I said, no, I don't, I'm not a copy artist. You know, I can't sit down and look at a photograph and paint it or, or, or cut it, you know. I use a drill like artists, like painters, use a brush. And I make something visually by taking away, I'm adding to. Strange concept. But the uh, neat part is, is that uh, the thing that people like the most about being artists and being in the arts is to play with that energy, to play with that creativity. Because that's the juice in life that's constantly changing and it keeps us out of boredom. And we get so spoiled of not being bored that we don't see life any other way. So, all my buildings here have strength. They'll stand up. They'll all hold up. And everything is self-sufficient. You see the areas here, like this is a power plant. How do you do all these little yeah. sideways? Well, see, that's what the surgical process is all about. And I, I throw a combination of things. I throw a combination of architecture. I throw a combination of dental surgical, uh, uh, building, um, uh, physics engineering. I throw it all together. All all right, together. so that I can make make a position, I can make a place function like a normal city. And each one of these areas has a function. This is your power supply. This area down here is where you land, and then you come in here to the immigrations type of area where you learn all the cultures and customs of the whole city. You go through quarantine, and then you can come into the city. But no one's allowed into the city until after they go through quarantine. Right. Fantastic. And then down here is the militia area, and this is all the cultural arts area, schools. This is all this is all the agricultural area and all of these areas out here are dwellings they're domains this is where everybody lives yeah. well organized <clears throat> but this art form is to take dimension and space in the mind and and give feeling match feeling to it mm -hmm. once you can match feeling with dimension and form then you have a new art form mm -hmm. you have something that that then can link the form spots with the uh, how it's done in the process and then at that time what happens is you interlink with your own you cause the cross matrix in your brain and that's that warm feeling and that warm uh -huh. feeling people are getting is that one moment of creativity with themselves that's, that's my expression i challenge yours it's great oh i love I, it look it gives through the me side a great now. yeah that's what i was going to look right down yeah, through the I've side i've been doing that with all of them yeah. Yeah. it's a whole other perspective it's great I love there, there are you know it's great it's fun. It's fun because yeah. I haven't found it one person yet that doesn't like it. Mm -hmm. They may pick up a piece of art and shake it, see if there's any snow. With this lump in my ass, I'm uh -huh. supposed to do this? Okay. As soon as these people... Okay. <laughs> Just wondering what the fuck's going on. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Okay, you ready? Go. No. All right. We are We're on, in the middle of a, a taping. Hold on, you want to reshoot that? Okay. Ready again? Go. Oh, don't be. Sure. Oh, hi. Like a don't tell. How do you call that don't tell? Uh, you do it uh, in Venice, don't tell. You see, you have it on your breast sometimes. It's cool. Okay, go ahead. I'm <laughs> 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 
or people standing around my artwork to ask me questions or something like that, so that I can go over and talk to them. This piece shows up front. Where's that big piece of wood that I had that was black? Hey, Richard, talk yeah. about this one some more. Just about Tell us about yeah, this. Piece. This piece is a galaxy. Uh, it's all um, glacier. This is all glacier colony. And if you lived on the ice pack itself, how would you transport to the top? So what I did was is I made all kinds of transportation to the top of this. And this piece became so exquisite because I didn't want to cut into any of the uh, the, the glacier effect that I had already established. I didn't want to cut mountains. I didn't want to put anything like that. I wanted to actually have a scene that had distance away from little civilizations, a group of civilizations that were close together on the same ice pack and what it would look like. So uh, this piece I've been spending about four this months on. A curl would give off a dimension, but when the color is added to it, You know, we it had Picasso, we had Chagall, so we had Moreau, and they were all innovators it has in their time. And now Richard yeah, Murray's doing the same thing with his interest sculpt. Isn't it beautiful? Yes, it is. I'm just absolutely going into what like it's going But it's more. It's, it's a whole like inner, 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 inner universe. Inner universe. So there's important. a whole story behind that piece. I think it's amazing. And if you'll look, you'll notice that everything's done to scale. And when you look on the side, you'll see little you know, steps. I tell you what you'll see little about doors. Art is they, they claim that art is not supposed to have any meaning. That's exactly, but that's what the professors of art are saying. It's they like owning a piece of school, the future. But I was in I was school in the old Stone Age. Hey, <laughs> not when I was an artist. I have gone you? and I have met with all of the top people in the art world, and they're saying that art is not supposed to have any meaning. And I say to him, I said, you know, I want your job. As, as far as I know, when it comes to the, the concept of developing culture for a nation, they look and they rely on their arts. There's two rules. You know, exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. And having that failure. You're going to continue what kind of thing? Right. Right. Uh, modern, modern. Very modern. Very modern. Yeah. If you lived in Congress, yeah. you would be buying ice for us to take home. I love that line, Richard. I do. I live in Delaware. You know what? Your eyes are so familiar. I remember your eyes. Were so have you ever lived in Orange Some County? Some <laughs> No. Some night. Uh, all I'm doing right now is I'm walking around and describing my art to people that are here because I'm wired for sound. I got a mic on. So I'm walking around, I'm talking to people, and they're. Because you see, once you wear that, you know, once you've got this thing on your ear and, and, it, and it falls, and it falls, and it, it tears you. Yeah, once it tears your ear, you get this incredible sense of freedom. So that's where I got the freedom earrings. But you hang your ear and kind of feel like Van Gogh. No, if I hung that from my ear, I'd kind of feel a hernia. Let's make them all jobs. You got like that? Put that. You can print that. Something that you lost back. Oh, that's my tail. I haven't lost my ass yet. I almost lost my ass, but I came. Yes. Hi. How are you? It's nice to meet you. Hey, thanks. <laughs> there is no average time. Uh, I put eight hours in on drilling a day. Really is no average time of piece. What law do they keep on it? For instance, for instance, a piece like this over here, I have a time log on this piece at 450 hours, and I've just put in 24 more hours. So I now have 474 hours of just surgical drilling time on this piece alone. That's incredible. And then I'll have maybe 100 hours on the maintenance time, and that's taking care of the whole outside. How many hours at a time? Like halfway in between. Okay, so just look right at me. Just tell me why Richard's art's here. What makes his art masterful enough to be here? Go. Master's Gallery carries the great innovators of art, Chagall, Picasso, Moreau. And now today we have Richard Murray, who's an innovator in his own right, as he does intrasculpt in acrylics.
What makes his art so different from anybody else's? I've never seen it done before. Richard uses dental drills to actually sculpt in the acrylics. He does not use a mold. Now, you think of sculpture, you think of statues and things like that. Like right, this piece right, here. right, right. His is on the outside is smooth. What, can it still be called sculpture? That's why he calls it intrasculpture. It is inside the acrylic, which makes it even more unique. What kind of people buy his pieces? Oh, he has celebrity clientele. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Jones from Jonesboro, Kentucky, to uh, Mr. Showbiz in Beverly Hills, California. His time and his art is for everyone. What makes him so successful? What, what, what do people see in that when they, when they look at his art? Why, why do you think they're they They see a chunk of the future. Uh, do you remember Andy Warhol when he did the Campbell soup can? And that was the statement from my generation that we were basically no longer having homemade soup. Today we have Richard Murray showing us a little piece of the future. Now we can believe that we can actually live in outer space in his galaxy of Condradon. Our children are being raised that way. How would you describe his, his, his art? How would you describe Condradon as, as the way you see it, as opposed to the way he sees it? Condradon is a, a magical kingdom where men, animals, and their environment can live in peace. If you look into Richard's sculptures, when you look from on the top or to the side or even from the bottom, they have a mystical quality, and you can make it whatever your dreams want to be. And here's this gleaming light just lighting up the whole floor, and I said, that's a space shot, and I'm looking at this, and I'm saying, that's it. So for three days, I shut the door on my studio. It's already been out, you know. That's a, one of the things that I, I did was I spent three days in just constant creative search. And I was drilling solid for three days. I developed 12 pieces that in the very beginning, those pieces sold for $30, $40 that are now $800 to $1,200. And uh, um, I... Okay, looking at Richard's art forms, it brings to mind some of my own creativity. He was explaining to me that it's very important for a person to look at something and to feel what, what is going on within that art form. And it brings up a very definite creativity in, within me as a person, not as an artist, but as a person. And I'm working in psychology and also in medicine. And I'm thinking in my own mind how my mind is working as I'm looking at his forms and it gives a sense of happiness when you can also incorporate some of your own ideas into his you can fill in the spaces like you can he said that some of his work has a map and and this is the unsettled area so it, it reminds me of Japanese art some of Japanese art has ambiguous little pieces in there that you can also fill in. And I'm feeling, I can put something in there, I can put something into Richard's art, and it can be part of me, and that can make me feel happy. So we were just talking about that aspect of it. We haven't really talked in depth about it, but that's exactly what I got, just five minutes of conversation with him. Uh, I, I've read Ospensky's Metaphysics, the search for the miraculous and although I didn't understand everything I felt in tune with what he was saying and it's like looking at Richard's art the more I read about Ospensky the more I had questions the more was revealed to me and it's like looking at some of his work where you see patterns and then you look away and then you look there again and you see more patterns and you see something different so it is to me it's a link with the universe but it's ever changing Changing. It's something that you can create as you go along. The kind of people? They'd be light people. Light looking, light in weight, perhaps light colored. There would be a lot of vibrant colors because he has white there, and white to me is every color. And I would I would have to incorporate just a lightness and a happiness and a brightness in the people that would be there. I don't think I'd ever see black. I never would see black. Okay.
Tell me what your impressions are. Uh, it's uh, mind-boggling that he can actually uh, get that effect with, he uses a dentist drill, is that correct? And um, I unfortunately wasn't here when he was giving his explanation of how it works. It's almost as if he had taken a, a cast underneath and then put the, um, uh, put the acrylic over the top of it. It's um, very uh, mystical to me. It's uh, a fantasy, kind of uh, like a, its own little world, all within a um, contained area. Uh, I don't know, it's just amazing. Pardon me? Condradon is a universe that Richard creates. What kind of people do you think would live in such a city? Uh, I think artistic people would be there, uh, magical people, maybe um, uh, uh, mystics, people with uh, metaphysical powers, things like that. Would they be human or would they be something else? No, no, I don't think they would be human. I think they would be from a totally different planet or they would just, um, maybe a few humans here and there. If, Superhumans. When you sit and look into the city, what do you see? Castles, uh, fortresses, uh, a lot of light and sparkles, and a lot of energy. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, fantastic. The, uh, Very similar. The way it's, the light strikes the uh, pieces and the, uh, the way it's formed inside the plexiglass, it's unbelievable. I was in here about two weeks ago and the art director made it known to me and um, it was really fantastic. Um, the shapes, the forms, the different molds, the way the light strikes it. Probably a recreation of space. The best movie I remember was Star Wars, so I was really uh, enthused with his work because it reminded me of Star Wars. So I was really impressed when I saw the 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 whole thing is different, the symmetrical shape of it, and, and, and you can turn and look at the piece, and uh, it's 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 unbelievable. The work is unreal. I've never seen anything like. I've been to a lot of showings, a lot of art galleries. I've never seen anything like this before. Thank you. That's it. I'm sending my wire for one Great. Somebody splash water on these two. Oh. <laughs> well, how did you do, honey? I I want you to meet my aunt, an aunt, another aunt and uncle of mine. This oh, is good. Bill Safer. Hi, Bill. I'm the uncle. Nice to meet you, Bill. <laughs> and uncle Bill. Nobody, nobody, I know. Nobody we ever, never get any nobody compliments. Nobody ever said anybody nice. You know, that really bugs me. You know, we don't have any products for men. <laughs> I use the same technique as a, as a surgeon yeah. would use to carve acrylic or to carve in your mouth. But I, I use more equipment and more tools than they do because I have more of a creative process. Yeah. They're in for repairs, I'm in to generate new things. Yeah. You know? nice. But I use the same equipment because it's what I need that when I can take a, a, an image that's not even an inch in square mm -hmm. and blow it up 10 feet by 10 feet, yeah. the, the surgical equipment is what gives me that clarity. Yeah, it's very unique. And the type of acrylic. Thank you. Yeah, very pretty. Thank you. This yeah. is a whole you, new art form. Where do you get your form. subject matter? I mean, who do you, you create that yourself? The subject matter, like the cities themselves, yeah, yeah. that comes from within me. Yeah. That's something I, I generate and I create. Yeah. Because it gives a, a, a you know, my whole job is to challenge your creativity. And if I were to do the skyline of New York, the first thing you would think about is your vacation yeah. you took there. But if I do the skyline of a space city... Uh -huh. No, the imagination is, is the much imag more... Than it gives you that sense yeah. of freedom to yeah. do whatever you yeah. want to do with it. Oh, that's right. And that's why... That's yeah. when it has a meaning for almost every person. It has a then different it becomes, meaning for it. Yeah. becomes your art. Beautiful, yeah. It becomes something of your own. Congratulations.